what we're doing here, we, we did a last um, touch up iron on the crinoline because it gotten a little tamped down. Mm -hmm. um, and now we hung the fabric for a week to let it stretch out. And um, sorry, we already moved the pieces so you can't see that they did indeed stretch out. Oh, well, it's all right. You can definitely like, tell. Yeah, you could definitely They're tell just, how much they had, draping. they had draped. Yep. So it's now what we're doing is we're we've pinned this like this much up from the base of the bodice, just because that way we end up not having so much hanging on the floor mm -hmm. all the way around. Um, we've left overlap here so we can pin the pieces together, mm -hmm. and now. We're pinning along here. We're not pulling on it. We're letting gravity have let things line up. That's why we didn't put any notches in the skirt fabric because one's a little more on the bias than the other. One's going to stretch out a little more than the other. They should be fully stretched out now. Mm -hmm. And so we're just gracefully pinning them together all the way down. And then once it's all pinned together, we will sew it together. Oh, one thing I forgot as yeah. we were pinning on the dress form is that we were going to want to sew from the top to the bottom and you have a number because of the way so that it keeps that stretching as you're sewing. Um, and so I forgot to tell her to pay attention to which side the pins uh -huh. were on so that we could easily sew from the top to the bottom. Mm -hmm. So now I'm okay. well, doing um, the I'll tedious chore of I'll moving all the pins from one side to the other. I've made this all mistake right. many Thanks times much. in my life and so I'm pretty fast at moving the pins. I don't okay. even have to look Love at the you. fabric as I do it, which is kind Bye. of scary. But mm -hmm. there we go. And then we will sew. All right. Okay, Rosalie is starting to sew. So, and this is so heavy and there's so much fabric, you kind of need two people. All right. Or a very large table. <laughs> very long, large table. Too close to my work. Seems like everything is so detailed. This is up close and personal with the stitching of the skirt. Yep. If you can see, there are it's almost like invisible because we found thread that pretty much matches the fabric really well. So, yeah. You can see it a little bit, my bear, my bear, my bear. Let's see. Yeah. So that's it. It's a little over the middle, you know. Okay, so now we're double checking because. We talked last time about the fact that the grain lines are at a, sort of a bias along the edge. And sometimes when you're sewing along the bias, things can sort of tighten up. The machine will pull things back together. And so you can see up here, this is lying nice and smooth. And down here, it's sort of going like it's ruffly. You can see they're sort of ruffly here. And that means the thread has pulled too tight. Okay. And so I'm taking a seam ripper and I'm cutting just the sewing thread on both sides because I don't know whether it's the top thread or the bottom thread that this is causing the problem. Mm -hmm. And then I take from one end and I just run my finger and thumb along the thread and pull this way. You can see it's sort of gathering up, which was what the problem was. I'm going to take from the other end and as long as I've done it I might as well go from the top. I don't think it's going to be a problem all the way from the top, but it doesn't hurt. There is a little bit there. So you can see it's pulling that gather down the thread. Mm -hmm. And what would happen if we didn't do this is along the seams it would sort of tug up. You've seen those dresses that are sewn and where it's like pulling up at the seams, so it's sort of a weird gathery along the seam. Mm -hmm. Not because it's designed to be that way, because it's just pulling along the seam and looks unattractive. Mm. We're avoiding having that problem by doing Okay. This. So now you can't see it because our thread matches so beautifully, but we're going to start sewing like an inch and a half above. There's now a gap like this wide in the so stitching. And so we're going to put one pin like an inch and a half above that point and another pin like an inch and a half below that point and then one in the middle where the gap is. And we're just going to re-stitch that little bit. 
So I'm checking all the seams for that, and then we'll fix those. All right. All right, here we go. Dive, dive, dive. She's diving. 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 Oh, bony's poking me. Yep. Oh, what's with our zippers? There we go. Can you give me another pin, Rosalie? Yeah. Thank you. Mom is missing this. She'll see the video. And one it's more and one more pin, Rosalie. <laughs> oh Are you gonna gosh. cry again? <laughs> Am I crying again? <laughs> Just more than you. Wow. You look like a bride. And then add tool, and we're ready to go. Yep. Give me. Yes. C train. C train. Choo choo. Oh, it's so beautiful. Um, wow. You can't see. You have to see the back rows, like me wearing it. It's do well, where? Here, how we'll, do we'll I turn, do that? We'll turn her around. Oh, can we turn? Here. Yeah. Let's get this. And stare at your face into the way. Do her shoes fit you? Not at all. They do. Cinderella, put your shoes on. Gosh. They are Loosely. buckled, but... Yeah, you can matter. stand up. You want me to buckle? Sure. They're very bridal. Ah! <laughs> She's feeling like a princess. This wants to be clumpy right here. This area. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. Yes, because they have not pinned up, so it's a little long. All right. Like a bride. It's like the first actual fabric of mine I've gotten to wear, so it's pretty exciting. And this is just a perfect color. Oh my gosh. The bodice is going to look absolutely beautiful. When it's all matched up and sewn together. Yeah, because mm -hmm. this is not this is not the bodice. Yep. Just so That's know. the mock-up. This is the mock-up bodice. Stuff. And and I'm not seeing that. Well, it's going to go, it's going in though. Is it? Because, well, you see the front, it's definitely having it's, something It is doing out. that little. Because, do, Okay. Something's poking And so, out. so face Doop. the camera. Okay. Whoops. So we make things go flying all over the room. I don't know where that went. This is going to be hard to handle. Have so the tool on top. You won't, um... See all the the bumpleys. Ah, this one. Okay. Look, the bumpleys look bumpleys, went away. Rumpleys. The bumpleys went away because I put that one layer of netting. Very nice. So I'll show that to your video Mom, crew. When are you ready? She's videoing. For whatever. Are you videoing? Yes. It's okay. a good thing just video this whole thing. I am. So yep. So right so. now we can sort of oh. see these oh. hard edges of the ruffles because there are ruffles under here. And so what we're going to do is put in one flat layer of tulle. And so I'll show you my able assistant here. Mm -hmm. able assistant. So I'm just taking one layer of like the thinnest tulle. Like this does not need to be really thick to do this trick. We're just going to do a flat layer so it's just going to lay, you know, it'll be the same pattern pieces as the skirt. Just laying flat against the skirt, and you'd go, well, how's that going to do anything? Because it's like nothing. Now drop this thing. And those hard edges just magically disappear. Yay! Without adding any weight or bulk to the skirt. Very nice. So there isn't a, if you were having a satin gown, and you're like, ah, it looks terrible. One very, the thinnest, finest tool you can find. One layer and it erases all the problems. I know, I'm trying, but everything is so close. Let's Damn, pick up really whatever the heck this is. I'm strolling in my dress. 
Can Not really, you're waddling. No, I can't, because everything is so little yeah, down here. Back, back up. Here, beep, I got a place. Beep, beep. I'm going to have to do. Just a second, lift up your left foot. There we go. Okay, back up more. Keep backing, keep backing, keep backing, keep backing, keep backing, keep backing, keep backing. Okay, stop. Okay, now you can walk. All right. Ready? Walk bridally. Okay. I don't know how to walk yet. Keep your head up. Think murder. Think what? Murder. <laughs> <laughs> yes, beautiful. Perfect. So, anyway. All right. Feeling like Brad yet? Yes, I am. So next week we'll cut those seams and press that away, and then shall we cut out the bodice? Yes. Cut out bodice. Then I'll have two things I can wear. Yes. <laughs> and then we'll do layers and layers. She and shakes layers of the camera. Yes, yes, that is my nodding. I am the camera. All right. All right.